Hi, uh, we meet again with a new subtopic, which is a uh, practical transformer. So to analyze the practical transformer, we need an equivalent circuit so we can see all the parameter of the transformer have been represented with the impedance and also the latent. So as can be seen on the figure, uh, we have the R1, S1 to represent the coil or the winding of the primary side transformer. So this is the core element which is uh, consists of RC and also SM. So RC here is represented the uh, yeah, the core resistance and SM represented the magnetized pattern. Then at the secondary side, so we have uh, R2 and also S2, which is the impedance and also reactant for the secondary side. So this is all the element or the labeling of the transformer. Okay, in addition, we also have a current supply, which is the uh, I1. Then we also have the IO. I not represented the no load current of the transformer. Then we also have the I1 prime, which is uh, the primary winding current. Okay, the primary wind winding current. The Okay, the primary winding current is represented the current flow in the winding. Okay, then we also have the I2 which is the uh, second secondary winding current. Okay, and also V2. V2 represent the voltage at the load or V2 is the terminal load voltage. Okay, uh, the equivalent circuit of the transformer is very useful to analyze the transformer parameter uh, such as uh, impedance and also return in the coil or which is a winding and also to analyze the parameter in the core of the transformer. So basically to do an analysis of the transformer parameter, we can simplify the equivalent circuit of the transformer either refer to the primary or secondary so to sim simplify the circuit we can use uh, actual method or approximate method okay uh, for the transformer refer to the primary using the actual method okay as can be seen on the figure on the secondary side of the parameter transformer have been moved to the primary side so all the element which is the R2 X2 are moving to the primary side and it was represented by the R2 prime and also X2 prime okay. all the impedance and reactant in the uh, secondary is move to the primary so to calculate the parameter or r2 prime uh, for the okay then we can calculate the value parameter of uh, r2 and also s2 using this equation so r2 prime is equal to n1 over n2 squared which is a n1 over 2 n1 over n2 is a transformer ratio which is a time r2 or r2 prime is equal to a squared r2 so for the return uh, it is also the formula is also same uh, S2 prime equal to 
a square x2 so we can calculate the new value of r2 prime and also x2 prime okay then we also need to calculate the value of the v2 okay so v2 prime is equal to a time v2 okay where is a v2 uh, so kat mana v2 so v2 is equal to e1 here v2 prime is equal to e1 because all the parameter or impedance at the secondary are moved to the primary side of the transformer so for the current uh, i2 prime is equal to uh, i2 over a so this is a uh, i2 prime so i2 prime is equal to i2 over a over transformer ratio okay uh, the second method is using uh, approximate method okay as can be seen on the figure all the impedance and return of the second side of transformer are moving to the primary side of transformer if we refer to the previous slide okay we can see that the difference between the actual method and uh, approximate method is the impedance r2 prime and x2 prime uh, are move near to the primary winding of the transformer so we can uh, sum together or lump together all the impedance of the transformer Okay, in terms of the formula uh, for the R2 prime, X2 prime, uh, V2 prime, and also I2 prime, by using the actual or approximate method, the formula are still same. So the formula are similar to each other. So the advantage of the approximate method is we can simplify the circuit like this because we sum together all the parameter at the primary and secondary side of transformer so R01 here and also X01 here is represented by uh, this one okay R01 equal to R1 plus R2 prime then X01 is equal to X1 plus X2 prime okay so we can calculate the value of V1 and also value of V2 prime okay uh, for the transformer secondary using the actual method all the primary side transformer uh, is replaced is represented by the r2 prime at r1 prime and also at one prime so to calculate the r1 prime and x1 prime uh, R1 prime is equal to N2 over N1 squared time R1 or R2 prime is equal to R1 over A squared. Okay, similar to the X1 prime, X1 prime is equal to X1 over A2 squared. Then uh, to calculate V1 prime, so v1 prime is equal to uh, v1 over a so for this method all the primary side is 
replaced by the R1 prime and also uh, X1 prime. Okay, uh, by using the approximate method, okay, transformer refer to secondary. Uh, the formula to calculate the R1 prime and also X1 prime is the actual method. So the difference is uh, for the approximate method, the parameter R2 and S2 is summed together and it was calculated by R1 prime. Okay, this one and also R2 prime, R2 only. Okay, for the XO2 here, XO2, it's consists of X1 prime plus X2. Then the V1 prime is equal to V1 prime is equal to V1 over A. Okay, V1 over A. Okay, then, okay, I1 prime. Okay, this one is I1 prime is equal to A time I1 